Hello, 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 everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do. Okay, so Pisces all placements, crosswalk with my Pisces. You guys are more than welcome. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, we're going to jump into it. Let's see what's going on here for you guys. What's the overall energy for my Pisces all placements for their greatest and highest good? Okay, y'all. Say we ready. We ready. They say we ready. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday whenever you watch this. Pisces, I do need it to jump. Thank you. So you make somebody smile, honeys. Okay? You put a smile on their face. And I feel like they cheese this from ear to ear. This may be somebody who don't normally naturally smile. This may be somebody who disappointed you in the past as well. Okay? You may be disappointed in this person. But you make this person smile. Tell me more Pisces energy. They want to come in and make some plans. I feel like I just had this read on Tanya's Tarot. If this resonates with you guys, wants to read, go watch Tanya's Tarot, which is the love channel. So, yeah, this person now sees a future with you. Tell me more. What's going on for my Pisces here? I can't be who you want me to be. So I feel like in the past, this person felt like they couldn't be who you wanted them to be. And this is why they disappointed you. But the truth of the matter is you make this person smile. And now they want to come in and make some type of plans with you. Spirit may be telling you, Pisces, to keep your options open. And it do say keep your options open. So you may need to keep your options open here. Um, this person could have kept their options open in the past. Because they felt like they couldn't be who you wanted them to be. So maybe they, they didn't commit to you. Maybe they didn't commit to anybody. They had several, like I said, they kept their options open. They had several friends. What's going on? But they think about you all the time. So this person is thinking about you all the time here, Pisces. And when they think about you, you make them smile. And they're realizing that when they were in this past energy, they didn't feel like they could be who you wanted them to be. They may be coming out of this energy now. Yeah, they could have told you that they wanted somebody else here, honey. And for you to keep your options open. That's what I'm getting. Some, whoever this is, they told you to keep your options open. They wanted somebody else. They were not going to commit to you. Or they, you know, they didn't want anything long term. Because they felt like they couldn't be who you wanted them to be. Maybe you wanted a commitment. You wanted a boyfriend. You wanted something that was going to be long term. And they couldn't give you that. Right? So you walked away. Or you allowed them to go. Whatever the case may be. But they can't stop thinking about you. Now they want to come back towards you and make some type of plans here. One more row. Okay. That's why you make me smile. Yes, it says, I can't wait forever. So I feel like um, you couldn't wait forever for this person. Even though you feel like this person made you happy. You walked away. You got tired of waiting for this person to get their shit together. And they realized that. They, they possibly didn't think you were going to walk away. Because you, because, okay. So they made you smile. They made you happy. They thought you weren't going to walk away because they made you happy. At least, you know, I don't know. They didn't want to give you. So I feel like this, you make them smile. That energy for you was like, they felt like you was in love with them. Or they felt like they had you. You know what I'm saying? They didn't think you were going to go. Even though they weren't trying to give you a commitment. That makes sense, guys. Okay. But you got tired of waiting. Maybe they were stringing you along. You got tired of waiting for this person. Regardless if they made you happy. Regardless if you thought you were supposed to have a connection with this person. Regardless if they made you smile. You walked away. Now they wish things were different between you guys. Now they're wishing they could make plans with you. So maybe you was trying to make plans. This person stood you up. They disappointed you. They wasn't trying to give you the energy now they want to yeah now they wish they could um things were different and they wish they could spend more time with you now 
when they were standing you up in the past and telling you they wanted to be with someone else or be somewhere else or they want to give you this commitment here. Give me one more. Yeah. So you felt like you were wasting your time. You felt like you were wasting your time with this person here, Collective. This person could even told you you were wasting your time. Huh? They don't feel this way no more. They do still need a little bit more time to heal. But I do feel like this person is now doing some work. They're trying to heal so they can come back towards you. Because they wish things were different. They wish they had not wasted their time in the past. They wish they had not wasted your time in the past. They wish they hadn't played these games. They wish they hadn't told you to go somewhere else to, to you know, to, to keep your options open. Because now they can't get you off their brain. Yeah, now they're praying that things will get better. Now they're praying that things can get better between you guys. Look, they said we will meet again. So they're healing and praying that things will get better. Yeah, they feel like you, you can't trust them. This is why they're doing the work. And you, you may can't because they played a lot of mind games in the past. They were in and out. But they said they can't do this anymore. They can't play these games anymore. They, they want something long term here with you. Yeah, they want you to know that everything is not what it seems. So whatever it seemed like in the past is not like that. Or whatever you think it is or however you think it is. When it comes to this person, it's not like that. Pisces energy here. Pisces. This person may now see you as something long term, someone they want to build something long term with here. I did see the engagement ring when I was shuffling here. I do see them reminiscing with this camera. We'll see if they pop out. It was an engagement ring and the camera. Clarify you make me smile, Pisces energy. That's why you make me smile. Huh, when they go to camera. <laughs> so they're reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. So they're learning from the past, and they have this heart with this key. Welcome and love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together perfect. They feel like you are the one. They feel like they met the one. Now that's why I want to come in and make plans with you now. That's why I can't be who you want me to be. So if I can't be who you want me to be, Pisces. Yes, yeah, they, they feel like that because they had this outdated thinking, conditioning. Now they're replaying events over in their head because they don't feel that way no more. Pisces, energy, clarify, I think about you all the time. So there could have been an empath, narcissist paradigm between you and this person. They could have been charmed or used and able boundaries here. They could have been this girl with the snake energy. But now they realize that what you had was unconditional love. And they see that you loved yourself. One is passion, affection, attraction. They realize they're in love with you. That's why I can't wait forever. So they could have played on your on your imp, imp, on your heart on your empathic energies in the past. I'm not taking all these. This is five damn cards. Just one or two for I can't wait forever. Thank you. Yeah, now see you were heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. I feel like you really mourned this connection. You were heartbroken. You felt lost. Because this person, you feel like this person was your person. This person really made you happy. This person made you smile. And maybe you thought this person felt the same way about you, but, and they do, but they didn't show that. Okay, they told you to go find another option. Yeah, because they were still dealing with third parties. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So this is why they couldn't give to you because they were still out here. They couldn't be who you wanted them to be because they were still out here playing with third parties. They couldn't give you a commitment. They couldn't be loyal. That's why they, they feel like you don't trust them. Clarify, I wish things were different between us. They did it for love. They want to do it for love now. Yeah, they wish they hadn't ran. 
They ran from you and ran straight into a codependent relationship with whoever these third parties were. They had a fear of intimacy and they listened to their ego. And now they wish they hadn't done that. Therefore, I wish we could spend more time together. Yeah, because you're the healthy choice. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Now they want to spend more time with you because you're the healthy choice. But they ran from you in the past. And they left you heartbroken. And they're reminiscing about how they broke your heart. Because they're realizing you are the one and they ran from the fucking one. Because they were stuck in this outdated thinking. And now they're replaying this, this stuff that happened between you guys over in their head. And they realize that you are the healthy choice here, Pisces. Even though they played you like this empath narcissist in energy. But you put your boundaries up. You had enough. Even though you had unconditional love for this person. You felt like you were wasting your time. And enough was enough. You're wasting your time. You are wasting your time, Pisces energy. Yeah, because this person was constantly hiding behind a mask. They were not showing their true feelings. They were hiding, they were personifying, they were pretending. They were deluding, they were gaslighting. So you walked away. You loved you. Even though you broke your heart. Yeah, you walked away from the snake. You separated. Now I feel like this person is realizing that whoever these third parties were um, was the snake. And they're separating themselves from the third party. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So yeah, they're walking away from whoever the third party was, and they're missing you. They're sad, they're thinking about you, they're unsure if you guys have a future here, because they wore a mask in the past, because they told you they had other options, that, that you know, you should look for other options, because they told you you wasn't the one. They didn't want commitment with you. And now they're having this faith that love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Cupid's arrow. They've been hit by Cupid's arrow. And now they want to come in and be lighthearted. What's that, y'all? That they got that engagement ring. I told y'all I seen. Now they want to come in and be lighthearted because the truth is coming to light. So now they're adapting, they're making changes, they're healing. The truth that you are the one. The truth that you were the healthy choice. The truth that they were stuck in outdated thinking and the reason why they kept running. So they're healing. The truth that they were hiding behind a mask. And they're facing their truths here. Look, they're ascending. They want to come toward you because they want engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. They're completing this cycle with this karmic. To come back towards you to have union. They're ascending. Transcending obstacles. Learning, expansion, new phase. Preparing for union. They want to come in and date you, babies. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, playing, or setting a date. They just still need a little bit more time. It takes time. They're in time cycles. Time to heal progress. Because they're releasing this outdated thinking. Conditioning, replaying events over in their head. And they're releasing any addictions they may have had any codependent behaviors codependent people any obsessions possessions controlling blocks or restraints that they may have had they're letting that go and they're hoping that you come out of this not today energy and that this shit really is not over okay <laughs> but it says not today not dealing hurt avoiding conversations called person boundaries still angry they think that you may still be angry and for some of you guys you may but if you are, you need to heal that and release that, okay? It, it's, not, it's not good for you. Forgive it so you can move on. But they are afraid that you're still in this not today energy and that your relationship with you is over. There's no second chances, even though they want to come in and grow and transform, right? Because they ran from you because they felt like they were not enough. And now they want to run their asses right back to you with this wedding ring, they want to come out to separation with a red ring because they got hit by Cupid's arrow and the engagement ring again. And they want to come in and talk to you. But they feel like you, I'm going to read them all. But they want to come in and talk to you and heal the heart situation with you. You guys are mirroring each other at this time, okay? So be, be mindful of your thoughts here. I'm going to read them all. So they feel like they were not enough. 
frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So this is why they ran from the connection and ran towards the third party. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to their ego. But they're running back to you now. Wanting union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. They want to come out of this separation with you. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Because they're coming to ask you for this wedding, for this union. Wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Because they have been struck by Cupid's arrow. Having faith in love. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. They do have a little hesitation. But they're coming in with this engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. They see you over here in this girl talk. Talking time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. This is why they're afraid. That you're not dealing and you still, you know, you're moving on from them. That it really is over. But they're hoping that they can heal. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. They want to heal this with you, but they, they're afraid that you don't want them anymore because you've healed from them. But you both are healing at this time. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So your person is going within, introspecting. If you still have some hurt from this person, the spirit needs you to go in and heal from that as well. This third party, they're walking away from. Yeah, you can still be hurt because of the third party interference. Attractions, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference here. But they're coming towards you. Spirit says keep a positive mindset. and manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And I feel like this is what this person is doing. They're keeping a positive mindset, babies. Trying to manifest you back into their life. Okay, Pisces. So let's see here. I see. So is this read for? I see. So is this read for? Who is this Pisces read for? Libra. I heard you can have Libra in your chart somewhere, Pisces. Aquarius. Oh, that's crazy. We have water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Capricorn. We have Leo. Who else does Pisces read for? Scorpio. We have Gemini. We have Virgo. Bottom of the deck, we have Taurus. So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.